Right, we've got Andy with us, the Bromley manager. Thanks for your time, really appreciate it. Right, uh, today, I've a little bit, you're going through a little bit of a blip at the moment, like, you know, you haven't won in eight, but... Still tenth and only four points away from the playoffs. Yeah. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, I think that's that league, this league. You know, we, we've we've gone for a, a supposed blip and we've got a few draws in there, and not many no wins, and uh, we're still in amongst it. So uh, hopefully we can you know, turn that around today and, and start sort of uh, picking up some points. Definitely, because I looked at your game and five of the games that you lost was only by one goal or goal. So what, what what's your thoughts about that? Yeah, we've. I mean, I've always said this league is really about fine margins, and uh, on a few occasions, I mean, we've, I don't attempt to fade, but we've actually battered teams, and, and, and I mean, Halifax last week, they had four entries into our box in the whole game. Yeah. We ended up drawing one all of them, and we, you know, I felt we should have won that game. And that's pretty much been the story of our season a little bit at the moment. We haven't been taking our chances putting teams to, to bed when we've had the chance to. Do you think this season, the, t the league's by the top three, I call them the top three, right? Brexham, not Danny, Uh You feel the league's a little bit more closer together, everyone being everybody else? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, last season I felt there was like two, two probably standout teams. Uh, you could argue this season is probably three, but below that, I, I think there's probably 10 or 12, you know, that have all you know, uh, invested in, in their squads this year. So it's tying it all up for those sort of extra places in the playoffs. It's unbelievable league, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's enjoyable. Um, I say that. The <laughs> summer Saturdays, I don't enjoy it. But, um, yeah, I think it's enjoyable, you know, to come to places like this and, and, and uh, you know, put your wits against other managers in this league with your team. You know, it, it, it's, it's an enjoyable league. And then you take your team to a, a Wrexham or a, or a Notts County where they're way, way financially better than you are and, and you get a result there. So that's quite nice. Nice, yeah. Nice feeling. Listen, loyalty is a, not a word we use in football that often, is it? But you, you've you been very loyal to Bromley. You could have gone, to, well, I'm not saying you could have gone, I don't know, but you you were in touch with Gillingham and you decided to stay at Bromley. What was, you probably been asked this question before, but what was the reason staying at Bromley? Well, I, I think uh, I got offered the chance to be manager of Gillingham Football Club um, and I just didn't feel that it was the right fit for, for me. Um, and, and on top of that, I think you're right, loyalty is something that's probably not, not thrown about in this game. The manager, uh, the, sorry, the chairman here gave me the chance to be manager of his football club. Uh, I felt, you know, he took a gamble on me, people might say, uh, albeit I've been in the game for 35 years, but that's, that's called a gamble. Um, and uh, I felt that really I've got a good relationship with him and I felt it was sort of quite nice to sort of give him something back and the stability to the club. Sure, the moment one or two people are wishing I had a call because we've lost a couple of games, but you know, we're, we're, we're a stable position at the moment, we've just got to find that next level, and that's what we're trying to do. We've had a good start, obviously, at the beginning of the season. The FA Trophy, do you think that might have been a little bit of a, I don't know what the word, it held you back a bit or not, the trophy winning it? Um, no, I, I was hoping it was going to sort of kick, yeah. kick us on a little bit. I felt last year, um, everyone said that when we got to that final, that sort of cost us our lead. But I, I kind of disagree with that as well. We had a couple of big injuries you know, to two key players. And then that really, you know, we haven't got a big squad as you probably the same. So that, you know, you can't afford to have a couple of big injuries in your squad and expect to still keep the momentum going. Um, this year, you know, we, we, we've started off all right. Um, but you know, like you say, the league's a lot tighter, I think. And then everyone thinks you're going to beat certain teams. and. It doesn't work out like that, and that's, that's why we love football. Definitely. I know it's got quite a good mixture of youth and experience in your team, haven't you? you know. Yeah, we have. We've got a nice blend. I mean, we've got a couple of experienced players, and then we've got a, quite a uh, some nice legs and energy in, uh, yeah. around the team. So, yeah, we, we've got a nice blend and, and, you know, a good, solid, honest bunch, and that, that's why I, I like in the character player I bring here, you know, people that are solid and honest and, and will have a real go. Yeah, definitely. Should be a good game today. Obviously, you, you play on a pitch like this, don't you? And uh, you play football, no doubt. So it should be a good entertaining game, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I think it'll be a fantastic game if we win. If we won't, it'll be a, it'll be a terrible <laughs> game. Um, but that all down the side, I mean, it's very similar our pitch. Um, and, you know, it's the first time I've been actually to the door. I've been so really impressed with the setup. So I'm looking forward to the game ahead. Well, enjoy your day, and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you, Gary. Speak Cheers. to you soon. Good luck.